Good morning. It is Monday. It's a holiday, but it's still one of my normally scheduled broadcast times. And let me see if I can catch this really quick and um, share it out. Hope you guys are doing well. I wasn't sure, you know. I said, are people vacationing? Are they with family? And then I decided that even if me coming on would help a small percentage of people um, that I had an obligation. So I'm here. I did fight <laughs> with my own self about whether or not I should come on uh, this morning, but um, personal mastery, it, it, it falls right in line with what we're gonna talk about on today, which is personal mastery. And, and I actually, I even contemplated about um, titling it uh, personal mastery because it's probably not the um, most eye-catching title, but then I thought about my particular target audience, the people that I serve, the people that um, really gain value from what it is that I do, and I realized that the people who um, I connect with are into <clears throat> building their whole life, you know, not just their business. And so I think it's absolutely um, ideal for those who find value in, in what I come on to share. So you guys see in the title, you know, first of all, do you own a business? If you're on the broadcast and you own a business, um, whether you come back on the replay or you are catching me live, say hello in the comments. Let me know you're rocking out with me uh, this morning. And then let me know what type of service-based business you actually have. How do you rock out in the marketplace and who do you serve? And that lets me know um, the, the best content to come on that's gonna help you in your particular business. So you guys see in the title, pers Personal Mastery. It's, guys, when I realized that much of what we were desiring in our business building effort would really come through personal mastery, I mean, it really made me sit back down and reevaluate so many things in my business. And because I did, it has blessed my business 100-fold, like literally. Um, it simplified my processes, my life. Period. So we're going to talk about that um, on today. If you're on and, you know, maybe you've never been on a live training with me before and you're like, who is this lady? I'm Tanya Wilson Cherry. I'm a transformational growth strategist. So growing is super, super important to me because I realize that as we grow personally, it aligns fully with our business. And whenever we attempt to separate the two, um, I, I do think that our business life and our personal life you know, can't mesh all the way together as in, you know, you feel like you have to share your whole life with social media. I don't mean that, but I mean the inner workings of our personal life, it rolls over into our business. And, you know, that's just not something I read. It's something that I experienced more than one time, right? And one time in particular, I was just completely in a dysfunctional marriage, my self-esteem was low, um, my true value and worth was questioned, right? Um, you know, just every area of my life internally was at, being questioned and by me, right? By me. And eventually, even with all of the strategies and systems I had in place, it began to roll over into my business. And one of the things that season taught me was to value personal mastery because personal mastery determines how you, you know, face adversities in your life. It determines, you know, what you choose in your life and your business. It, it just really details so much of what goes on into your business. And I began to take just some of the things that I learned. I, I started reading self-improvement books in high school. But how many of you know that information and wisdom is two different things? Information and wisdom is two different things. 
Meaning we can have all of the information in the world, but until we begin to apply it, right, that's when we actually get the results. And one of the biggest mistakes that most entrepreneurs make in this information age is I already know that. I already know that. It's because we hear information all the time. And we also tend to have a tendency to take some of the information we hear for granted because it's so easily accessible to us. But when we begin to apply those things in our spirit that we feel are really, really important and they're really, really valuable and we don't overlook them, that's when we actually see results. And so personal growth and personal development became super, super huge for me. And I didn't do a tester um, intentionally, but when I first came online, so I started my consulting business, I'm a business consultant and certified life coach. I started offline <clears throat> and I worked with several different industries. But when I brought my business online um, in 2015, 16, um, I niched out to one particular industry and I really just focused on strategies, teaching them strategies. And then I felt I was doing them a disservice because I learned so much about how applying, you know, personal mastery to the strategies gives us greater results. Um, it actually simplifies the process for us, guys. We don't do nearly as many things when we're operating from a space of mastery because mastery requires us to go deep into whatever it is we're doing. I'm going to give you guys an example. So there's a young lady named Bella that um, I'm connected to on my personal page on Facebook. And she was sharing that she uses three different types of irons for her, her clients, um, flat irons or ceramic irons for her clients. And she said she noticed that different irons worked better for different textures of hair. And I commented and let her know that she was stepping into a space of mastery. And that's because when you go beyond the surface level of whatever it is that you're doing, you actually look for better um, results for the people that you serve. You want their experience with you to be greater. You want to build your business better. And many of us, because we are service-based businesses, we focus on the craft of the business most of the time. And I do feel there needs to be a level of mastery in that as well. But what often goes on the back burner is our personal mastery and, our, and the knowledge of how to run a business, the mastery in those areas. But for today, I wanted to talk about personal mastery. And personal mastery starts with, I'm gonna talk about two things as it relates to personal mastery because it's, it's so many really, you know, it entails a lot. But two things, awareness and belief. So I have a concept called the ASA, ASAP method and the first module or concept for that method is awareness. And I think that the lack of awareness as we're building our business about who we really are affects us gravely. So those of you who are business owners, you're a leader. So understanding who you are, your leadership style, um, who wants your services, what what service are you really offering? What is the true value? All of those things are super, super important. But you understanding who you are in implementing and building the business, it's, it's the biggest thing. So when we stop and take the time to learn what our strengths are, what our weaknesses are, all of that begins to create a path for us to go on, either a growth path in specific areas it helps us to determine you know, who to delegate uh, things to in and out of our business. But personal mastery uh, is huge. I think that one of the things that I see so often when we're building our business, and I completely get it, guys, because our business, we are in business to profit. We're in business to make money, right? We're in business to get the coin, secure the bag. But oftentimes the chase of that keeps us from doing what's actually going to bring the coin in. So when you get to the point where you understand that what it is that you're building is bigger than you, 
you do things that ordinarily you may make an excuse about or you may say i'll put it off until later prime example i literally literally laid across my bed and said it's a holiday you know maybe i won't broadcast today these are the thoughts that were going through my head maybe i won't broadcast today maybe i'll just chill and i'll just come on on wednesday everybody's probably out with their family you know, nobody may be available to watch. These are all the things that, um, hey, Linda, how are you, dear? These are all the things that I begin to tell myself as an excuse not to come on. But because what I'm doing is so much bigger than me, right? I've been training myself personally, and I begin to say, there may be one person, there may be one person who comes on and watches this training on today and this information changes, completely changes the way they do business and their entire life grows. And so because what I'm doing is bigger than me, I come on and I do what's necessary. Now for you all who are watching me, you also understand that this is a space of awareness, bringing awareness to my brand because I'm on live. But because I move from the space of this being about money, right? Of course, you know, we're in business to make money. But when you remove the uh, thought that what you're doing is solely about you and what you can get, you begin to do the things like me coming on live that will bring the money and the revenue in. And this is part of personal mastery. It's those conversations that you have to have with yourself when you're making excuses about um, why you won't invest in what, what it is that you need for your next level, why you won't do the things, right, the activities that will actually bring in the revenue. It's, it's personal mastery. And this is where many people are stuck. It's not that they don't know the strategy or at least the next step. Most people know what the next step is. They may not know the steps after that, but most people know at least one thing they could do today that will help push their business forward. They know what that one thing is, but it's personal mastery that will cause them to actually go out and do it. Um, another thing that really became clear to me about the whole concept of how we're building our business and how it becomes this chase for money or whatever was the fact that we really had to love ourselves right i believe that the way you build your business has a lot to do with how you feel about you how you feel about you okay so let's think about it like this when you're operating in a space of self-love then you'll say I know that getting better at this particular thing is going to bring in the increase, the revenue, whatever it is that I desire, right? And when you love yourself to know that you deserve the next level, then you operate at the highest version of yourself, whatever that is, whatever it is you need to learn or do or, uh, or be, you know, I like the word be as, as it relates to that. But much of what we're doing is based off of how we see ourselves and what we feel we deserve. So I remember during the times where, you know, I was attempting to function uh, and operate my business during a very dysfunctional time in my marriage. Remember I shared with you guys that it was a time where, you know, my self-esteem wasn't the highest. My um, value was being questioned, you know, by me as well. And when we're operating in that space where we aren't sure about who we are or our value or our worth, then we have a tendency to slight the customers too. Do you, you guys get that, right? Because you're going to do for people what you feel you deserve. You're going to do for people what you feel you deserve. And then when we get in a space where we understand, hey, Miss Miles, how are you, dear? When we understand that, whatever it is that we're doing is bigger than us, it's really about people, right? We're going to do them the way we feel we would want to be treated. And this is why I feel that um, self-love is like the foundational part of business building and personal mastery puts you in that space. It puts you in the space because once you, for instance, if I know that my client deserves something more, right? Because I'm on a growth path of personal mastery, 
I'm going to figure out what that is and then become better at delivering that to them. I had a client who ordered a really expensive product from a company and uh, it had not been shipped or delivered for months and my client wanted a refund. It was a, you know, it wasn't a small investment and the company responded to the desire for a refund. Now, mind you, it had been months, not weeks, but months past, you know, the time that they were supposed to get their item. The company responded in a way that was kind of like, your loss, your loss. That company is a company that is building a business from the wrong perspective, right? They're really not concerned about the customer. That was an opportunity to say whatever was going wrong with the item, why it wasn't there, um, to own up to it. But when we haven't walked in a space of personal mastery, it becomes difficult to say when we drop the ball, it becomes difficult you know, to share, like this is what is going on. Our integrity is always in question when you know, um, we are on, in a space of, of personal mastery. But when I learned that the level that I decided to master personally would help my business, it was the thing actually that was either keeping my business down or causing it to grow. It became my number one focus. It became my number one focus. Because many times, remember I shared with you guys, so oftentimes when we're in the chase of getting the money, we don't do the things that are necessary to get, to bring the money in. A space of um, personal mastery. So how you show up in one area of your life is how you're gonna show up everywhere, right? How you show up in one area is gonna be how you show up everywhere eventually. And, and when we realize that we're servicing people, right then we're focusing on the relationship that we're building with the people and how it's truly how our service is truly truly affecting them so i wanted to just share this with you guys today it's probably not the broadcast that you're super excited about um, but many of my followers really want to operate businesses of integrity they not only want to grow an amazing business but they want to um, create an amazing lifestyle as well and I feel that personal mastery is the key. I think it's the thing that actually grows your business. When you're in a space where you're doing for the customer what you would want done for you. And if, and if we're in a space where the, the level that we love and care about ourselves is low, then we're also going to deliver from that space, right? So sometimes we, feel, we may feel we're doing you know our best but it really depends on how we evaluate and love ourselves and so I've been on this personal journey of personal growth and personal mastery um, one because I, be I believe that what I'm building is so impactful for the people who come and have services with me and and the way that their lives change I respect the fact that people are investing I respect the fact that people are investing and these things are so important whatever it is that you do whatever service it is that you offer if people are coming to you if they're coming in your space if they're coming to your class if you're come if they're coming to your course they're making an investment they're making an investment and so often guys we look at it like well I'm doing them a favor but I, I believe that is one hand washing the other one hand washing the other and when I say um, we have to realize that people are making an investment to come to our business and that we should serve people from our highest, some people get this confused with, um, well, I'm just going to give all of my stuff away for, for free. That's not what it means to really service and serve your customer, right? Because guys, when people make an investment, they value whatever it is they're getting differently. So slashing your prices all the time and, you know, giving cheap discounts and things, it doesn't really serve you or the guests. What serves you and the guests the best is for you to master, um, uh, is your personal mastery and you to master how to service the guests. That's what really serves your clients and your customers the best. 
And so I just wanted to share that with you all today. Like I said, it's not like one of those woohoo titles, but it is that thing that's going to actually help you grow your business. It's when you decide to get in a space of personal mastery because it's every part of you is going to show up on your entrepreneurial journey. Every single part of you is eventually going to show up your ability to earn money, your ability to keep money, your ability to invest money. It's all going to show up in your business building. It's going to come at some point. Um, those things that we learn and grow in personally, they show up in our business and, and in our lives. And so for me, personal mastery has been, you know, one of the most important aspects of, of growing our business. You are your business. You know, everything that every um, everything that you have right now, everything that's available to you from your business is based on seeds that you've planted from a while ago, right? So meaning every result that you have right now is from a seed, a system, or concept that you planted and created a while ago. And if you want to create a future that looks different from that particular, from the results that you're getting now, it simply means that you need new seeds. You know, you need a new concept, new thought process about how you're building your business. And I, I completely understand, guys, when, you know, uh, finances are looking funny or maybe you have some things going on in your life, your personal life that seem to be overwhelming your business. But if you get in a space where you completely and truly love yourself, you'll figure out what those things are. You'll take complete responsibility. That was another thing that really shifted for me. I took complete responsibility for the results I was getting in my life and my business. That means that I was no longer the victim. It gave me a space of power. I didn't blame anything on the economy or um, the toxic people that were in my life because I've had several. Um, I decided, I made a decision about how I cared about myself, how those things were affecting my business and what I needed to do differently. And guys, I feel people are waiting on something. I'm not sure what it is, you know, that we're, we're waiting on, but you mastering what it is that you really desire and really aligning with it and doing what you know is necessary is really what's going to get you to your next level. So your awareness is one level um, of your personal mastery and then your belief. Your belief is going to be huge, guys. Many of you are creating your business from what you feel is um, available to you and not what's possible. Many are building their business based on what they feel is available to them. So they're looking and they're like, well, you know, this is what I have right now. But if you build it from a space of possibility, and this is where personal mastery comes in because you're mastering your belief, you're enlarging your, your faith or increasing your faith. The only way to create a future that's bigger than the one that you currently have is when you step into a space of possibility. And this is personally mastering your belief and your mindset about what it is that you're doing. Um, it's getting in the space and saying, hey, I have to be honest with myself. What I'm doing is not working. It's not creating what I really desire. I have to do something different. And some of the small things that we can do is how we show up, how we show up. The fact that we are truly um, concerned about the customers that we're servicing, not just because they're giving us money, but because we want to provide extreme value for them. We understand and respect the fact that they are investing. And when you operate from that space, that's when you're operating from the highest version of yourself. That is what brings the income and the increase and the money and the clients that are willing to pay you top dollar. Um, it also puts you in a space where you're no longer accepting your situation, but you're saying, okay, what do I need to do for this to change? So personal mastery is that thing that's going to take your business to the next level, right? It's um, because as I said before, we have information everywhere. So we understand that it's not a lack of information that we're really m missing. It's an awareness or a belief uh, that we need to master personally 
for our next level. That's my take on today, guys. You guys have a super amazing um, holiday. I don't know. You guys may be cooking out or enjoying family. For those of you who really want to um, focus on leadership and really growing your business and your life to a new level, you want to create new measures of time freedom. You want to really figure out who is ideal, who's really ideal for my business. I invite you to my retreat. It is August the 3rd through the 5th in Asheville, North Carolina. It is for service-based business owners, um, coaches, and salon professionals who really want to take their business to the next level, but they want to create time freedom while they're doing it. The Strategic Leadership Growth Retreat, www.strategicleadershipgrowth.com. There is an application. You do have to apply. Um, for it, but you'll get those details on the page. It gives you um, the investment cost and the dates, and then the hotel will be um, given to you once you make your investment. Don't miss the opportunity, guys. We, we, we pass over opportunities all the time. I think sometimes we're looking for um, so much entertainment, right? And we have it all, we have it everywhere. When what we really need is more intimate and more personal than you know what we're seeking and, and i promise you when you get in a space of personal mastery even what you choose to invest your time and your money in it shifts it shifts and it changes join me guys strategic leadership growth retreat www.strategicleadershipgrowth.com and guys really think about personal mastery the first two things is awareness being in a space of awareness, and then up-leveling our belief. We have to master what's going on in our mind, what's telling us to do it this way or that way or that this is impossible for us or that we aren't valuable, right? Personal mastery. First two things, awareness and belief. You guys have an amazing rest of the day.